right, ladies and gentlemen, today is the day. It is September. <laughs> ah, some day in September. Let me uh, check, let me check. September 16th. Huh? September 16th. September 16th. It is currently 9... 45. 9.45, ladies and gentlemen. Game time is at 3. Six games today. Um, you know, at the end of the day, doesn't matter what happened before today. Doesn't matter what happens after today. We gotta show up six games. So uh, we're headed to the arena right now. We're about to get warmed up. Um, super excited. I'm excited to see the, the crowd, but we're locked in, man. You know what I'm saying? We haven't played the best, but at the end of the day, it's about how you perform today. So let's get it popping. Hello, guys. What is that? Can bring water, our own water? No, you can only bring just bottles. What is you that? You can fill them with water. This sounds like, this is like equipment. <laughs> but that's the only thing you can bring on stage. Oh, I think it's a sponsorship. So like you, can can you, bring you can't have like sponsored like water, water or something. Uh, I got one. Yeah, you want one? Yeah. You want one? Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, right now we are, we just got to the venue a uh, couple hours before we play. Like I told them, I said, yo, this moment right here, we're gonna talk about it later on and be like, man, I wish we can go back and live it. So I just, we just gotta live in the moment, really enjoy it. We're playing Call of Duty for a living, video games for a living. We're about to have a lot of a lot of people here supporting us. Let's get to it, nothing else. There's no other, there's no other, no excuses, no nothing. We're all on the same sh We're all on land, get to it. You ready? Showtime. Yes, sir. Couple last words, Chris. Five and four. Man. Last few words. At the end of the day, it's an overall blessing to get what we do. After COVID. Look at it, look at it, look at this. Crowd playing COD. I never thought in a million years I would be on this stage. Forever grateful. But at the end of the day, no matter what anybody has done, they gotta show up today. Six games. No right. matter what you did else. So let's go get it. That's Game time what? Hour? Start the hour. Yeah, I think there's like a show. Yeah. Uh, see the camo? See the camo we get? The animated joint? Uh, that, that was leaked. You know what? I, no, I'm good. You're gonna get sleepy. I'm gonna get My dog. My dog. I'm gonna get sleepy. I'll do all the after. I'm gonna do the after. I'm talking to fans. I'm gonna catch you after. So, what's going on right now? Right now, they let everyone in. Uh, game time starts in less than an hour. We're feeling great. I had a little lag issues with my PC, but apparently they fixed them, so um, I'm super excited. You know, like I told, like I said, we're gonna, I'm gonna keep reiterating this. Some point in the future, we're gonna be like, damn, I wish we could go back to this moment right here. So we're gonna enjoy it. Have a bowl, play some car, bop up. Hell yeah. Down, down, down. Nice, nice, nice. Get that ball, get that ball. Got it, got it. Bullet, 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 bullet. Oh, you, oh, it's you and Trey. Up top, Trey. Yeah, I will not. Don't let him get up. He's resing, resing, resing. Order strike on the way. Mine is teammate. Broken, broken. I suck him, I suck him, I suck him. I don't want to weak, I don't want to Down, 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 down. Down, down, look at me, look at me, look at me. I'm here, I got you, I got you, I got you. PA, PA. I can't PA, I can't PA. He's right, he's right. What do you want? I want to make him jump. Oh my god, I killed him, I killed him, I killed him. On me, on me. Oh my god, shit on. One more, one more. Turn on me, on me, dead, dead, dead. Come on, somebody the f up, baby. Somebody the f up. Okay, LCB's now. Hey, medic right here, medic. Yeah. Give 
Smokes to that? Behind us, dude, behind us. Getting aimed at, I'm getting sniped at. Shot missed, no joy. Clearing up. Broke him on the bridge. Alright, smoke him out. You got a point right now? So we had planned like a whole vlog for this trip and whether no matter how we did we were gonna upload it you know what i'm saying it was more so just like a documentary or a process or whatever you know what i'm saying but we just finished world series of warzone shout out to biff and them they ended up winning the whole thing um yeah we didn't we didn't play good man um i feel awful genuinely awful shout out to trey and uh and evan my teammates man um, it was just a cool experience, man. Um, I had a lot of fun with them over the last three months. But yeah, let's just kind of get into it. Uh, I don't even know where to begin. Some positives to take away, I would say, you know, to be able to compete with, you know, the top 150 people in the world in all of Warzone, crazy. You know, I think that, and then playing in person in front of that many people was definitely surreal. It was definitely, um, it was awesome. I don't think the crowd had any sort of effect as far as like, like how we play or anything like that. I don't think that, when we were playing, I would even forget they were there. So I don't think the crowd was like a, like a super big thing. I, I saw that Warzone itself was over like 300,000 viewers during the whole thing, which is so cool to see because that means we're for sure getting more events and, uh, I just hate that it had to be on Modern for two. Like, ew, ew. But yeah, that was that was some of the, the positives. You know, my family came out here to see me play. That's super cool. It was their first time ever traveling out the country. So I, they had, I know they had a ball. Um, it's kind of cool because, you know, they used to watch me play AAU games all the time growing up. And, um, you know, to, for them to see me play in a competition is wild. Some negatives to take away. Obviously, we did not place good. I think we got like 30th or something like that. We definitely definitely did not expect we were definitely hoping to get easy top 10 but i think one of the things that i'm not gonna sit here and like making like 90 excuses i'm just not gonna i'm not gonna do that but um i think one of the biggest effects was obviously the signal 50 i think you know having that thermal and then having that in the game was just 
it was funny because you know I feel like you know the, the haters they they got they got a dub today you know they got a dub today man they couldn't they were so excited that we didn't do that great you know so they were definitely all tweeting at me and stuff like that and you know I can take the trolls but when they start like it's so funny because they'll be like man you you're absolutely dog shit you should just stay stay a content creator big supporter though like, bro. What? We've been on this World Series of Warzone journey for about three months now. Um, it has started off with me, Booyah Evan. Booyah dropped out. Which, for some reason, everyone was confused about today. I don't know why. Of all days. Everyone thought I dropped Booyah. Uh, I have no clue. Like, I got a wave of tweets of that. I was so confused. That was definitely not the case. But shout out to Trey for stepping up and, uh, and competing with us. I mean, we made it to London, you know what I'm saying? So I think that's that's super cool. I think for me, you know, starting this journey like 10 years ago was so cool because like I had a, there was, a, I had made a choice where I was like, did I want to try to go competitive Call of Duty or did I want to do content creation? And, I, and this was like when I was like 17, 18 and uh, I had chose content creation. And the fact that that kind of led me to playing on land in a competition for 1.2 million is so bizarre to me. I never thought I would be on land like that, like competing. Like I, it was never one of my like, ambition you know what i'm saying like i didn't start this because i wanted to be the you know what i'm saying the best in the world i was just wanted to entertain and the fact that it kind of ended that way i think it's super dope i saw a lot of the a lot there was a lot of tweets you know talking about tweeting at me as far as um me being like a part-timer and me not be that committed to the game and stuff like that i think it's just you just gotta understand it's just it's just very different you know i'm not 20 i'm not 20 years old you know also another positive we can take away from this is that now you can really say Call of Shame and Bad Boy Beeman are the biggest losers in history. They just sat there and called Shifty and Biff cheaters for three years in a row. Three years in a row. They've been doing the same thing to me for three years. I mean, I can't even believe they even still have an audience. What? I Truly mind-blowing. Overall, I hope you guys did enjoy this whole vlog, this whole World Series Warzone trip. It was so awesome. It was so surreal to travel to a different country to play Call of Duty in front of a crowd like that. It was so dope, man. So hope you guys did enjoy behind the scenes a little bit and stuff like that. You're not always going to get a W. You know what I'm saying? I'll take this L on the chin like a man. It is what it is, bro. You win some, you lose some. But at the end of the day, I don't really care what anyone says. I genuinely love competing. And I'll probably, as long as I play like Warzone, I'll always compete in tournaments. Try to compete in World Series just because it's so fun, bro. It's so fun, you know, testing your skills against the best of the best. You know, early Verdansk, it was a little different because, you know what I mean, you could pump stop and it would do well on YouTube and stuff like that. And people would love to see it. You know, like, we, like, I think people really forget we can go into a lobby and drop 40 50. Like, it's really like the skill gap is really insane. I think, I think because of World Series and because of rank play and stuff like that, I think the casual viewer may have forgotten. Well, with Modern Warfare 3, they will definitely be reminded. So. I just think this whole stigma with thinking every all the top streamers cheat is just so oh my god Hopefully that narrative's over. I'm tired. Of it. It's exhausting But hope you guys did enjoy this vlog if you guys enjoy this kind of type of content Make sure y'all drop a like hit that subscribe button down below y'all saw the journey of all the world series We didn't play how we wanted to it is what it is, you know, it definitely hurt because I definitely want to do well But you know at the end of the day thanks to you guys man. I get to do this. This is my job, you know It's what I, it's what I do. It's what I love so um, Yeah Hope you guys enjoy and yeah this is kind of I, I didn't when i turned on this camera i had no idea what i was going to say i just know i kind of had to wrap up the vlog and i wasn't about to just leave y'all hanging i want to give you my thoughts of the tournament i didn't want to sit here and make this part all excuses about why we didn't do well i haven't really mentioned i could go on a list of that it don't matter y'all don't care i don't care the outcome the outcome so but just thank y'all for supporting man and through it all bro because you know the haters got a dub today is fine. Let them enjoy it. Let them have this one. I'm sure we'll have a lot of W's, especially in Modern Warfare 3. So hope you guys enjoy. Make sure y'all drop a like at that subscribe button down below. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all back in America.